Renesas Synergy ISDE How-To Video, The Pin Configurator. During this video, we will cover the highlights of the Pin Configurator in eSquared Studio. The Pin Configurator on the Pins tab of the Synergy Project Editor provides flexible configuration of the MCU's pins. It simplifies the configuration of large packages with highly multiplexed pins by highlighting errors and presenting the options for each pin or for each peripheral. Within eSquared Studio, open an existing project and open the Synergy Project Editor. This can be done by double-clicking on the configuration.xml file in the project. Now we will select the Pins tab at the bottom of the Synergy Project Editor to access the Pin Configurator. The Pin Configurator provides flexible configuration of the MCU's pins. As many pins are able to provide multiple functions, they can be configured on a peripheral basis. For example, selecting a serial channel via the SCI peripheral offers multiple options for the location of the receive and transmit pins for that module and channel. Once a pin is configured, it is shown as green in the package view. In the Pin Configuration Selection pane, you can see the currently selected pin configuration file and the name of the data structure which is used to pass this pin configuration to the SSP or Synergy Software Package. It is possible to have multiple pin configurations as part of the same project, for example, to be used in different power modes. The Pin Selection pane shows the available ports, peripherals, analog pins, and other pins. The Pin Configuration pane shows the current pin configuration. Typically, you will see a graphical representation of the device in the package view to the right of the Synergy Project Editor. To configure a pin or check its current configuration, select the pin in the pin selection pane or by clicking on the pin in the package view. The package view lets the user select various attributes, for example drive capacity or mode of operation, and displays the current pin configuration accordingly, using different background colors to show the different settings of each attribute across the MCU's pins. The package view also allows the user to switch between the module name or the symbolic name of the MCU's pins being displayed. The pin configurator includes a built-in conflict checker. If the same pin is allocated to another peripheral or I.O. function, the pin will be shown in red in the package view, as well as being marked by a white cross in a red square in the pin selection and pin configuration panes. The Pin Conflicts view provides a list of conflicts so that they can quickly be identified and fixed. As mentioned earlier, making changes in the Pin Configuration pane are reflected in the package view. If the Pin Configurator detects a change that causes a conflict, you can check the Pin Conflicts view to see what the error is. You can then make some corrections to clear up the issue. After you have made changes to the Pin Configuration, Click on the Generate Project Content button so that the changes will be reflected in your project. There is also a useful .csv file created in the project under synergy underscore cfg forward slash ssp underscore cfg forward slash bsp. This CSV file contains the complete pin configuration in an easy to read format. Thank you for watching this video. We hope it has provided you with a useful introduction to the pin configurator.